The deadly Oakland Warehouse fire has put the spotlight on similar buildings with fire code violations. CBS2 investigative reporter David Goldstein has exclusive details on one such building in downtown L.A. CBS2 News has learned this building at 931 and 937 Pico Boulevard in downtown L.A. has been cited for more than 40 fire safety code violations. It's one of dozens of old buildings that have been converted into offices and lofts for artists. But as people come and go, the city says it's not safe for anyone to live here, calling it an illegal occupancy because converting it to an apartment was done without the required permits and approvals. What do you think about that, working in the building here? Uh, that's uh, scary. The warehouse fire in Oakland that killed at least 36 people has turned the spotlight on these types of buildings. It was also converted illegally into a place where people are living. Officials there say many of the dead were trapped in part because of wooden stairways that went up in flames. And that's exactly what they found in the warehouse here in L.A. It was written up by fire inspectors in August who took these pictures of two wooden stairways. Plus, they found electrical hazards, doors wired in the open position. They also didn't find required portable fire extinguishers, proper fire alarms and detection systems, emergency signs, and proper access to fire escapes. But the artists and people who live there didn't know. I'm not aware of any of this, so it does make me a little bit uncomfortable, especially since I just moved in. The owner was ordered to correct the hazards and discontinue using the building as lofts for living, sleeping, and cooking, basically shutting down the apartments because of safety concerns. That was back in August, but the apartments are still open. Just yesterday, when we started asking questions, the city attorney filed this complaint against the owner, listed as Morad Neiman, trying to force him to correct the violations. David Goldstein with CBS2. We went to Neiman's office and they said he wasn't there. Can you get a message to him? Yeah, I mean, I think you relay your number to him. We haven't heard back. In the meantime, people are still living in the building, most unaware of the dangers. David Goldstein, CBS2 News. The court case is scheduled for January. Until then, there's not much the city can do.